Okay, so we're going in playing a 30 minute, 10 second game. I'm just testing out my camera, I'm linked it up and just see how we can get on. Because the webcam was having issues, it kept jumping off, so I'm just seeing whether or not this one stays on. Uh, oh, it looks like we're ready to go. Okay, so what we were focusing on uh, yesterday, just keeping it simple. Oh, we were going to be doing the unusual openings, weren't we? Okay, so I forgot to do that this time, but we will endeavour to do that in the next game or so. So it is 30 minutes, 10 second game, so that's quite a long time. Okay, so they're attacking. Could bring the bishop out, but then it, excuse me, blocks the pawn. So I'm just going to push the pawn onto the bishop. Smaller piece attacking a higher piece. I'm going to attack their knight. It seems obvious enough to do that type of move. It's attacking a piece. There's a rhythm in the centre. He's developing his pieces, attacking this pawn here. A uh, good touch. So we could bring our knight out looking to defend. Don't really want to get caught in a defending situation. We could take or we could take his knight. I, be I believe I'm going to take the knight because I don't really want to get caught in losing tempo when they're developing their pieces. Um, I think we probably lose out, do we? So it's even at the minute. Knight could take the pawn because this pawn is protected at the moment and he can take our pawn and we can't attack him back what we can with the pawn I think that's the way to go you know if we take we're on his knight his knight takes queen takes with a check then we'll be able to take well this pawn is already up there isn't it we take his queen takes Ah, then he gets the 20 points because the king can't move. Hmm, interesting times. I'm going to take with the knight. I feel we're losing tempo here somehow. But we took the chance. Okay, so he's equalised it by capturing. Castling seems appropriate at this moment. Do I lose out anywhere else? I think castling is okay. Can't attack the queen. This knight's hanging in there. Yep, let's castle. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, so they've castled. So there's a bit of space in the centre here. Need to develop the pieces really. Could attack his uh, bishop, but need to develop the pieces really his rook knight is thinking it's being happy here so I believe I'm attacking the knight it's got no pieces around it protecting it so let's do that So we've not to rush it, just taking our time trying to find a better position. Is chump? Oh no! What's? I've, what have I missed now? What have I missed? Queen coming here. Our knight's protected. Oh, am I going to get some sort of combination thing that I haven't seen? It's so annoying. I've got 29 minutes now. It doesn't look like there's anything good supporting, but his queen's going to come and put a check. I have to move. What have I missed? Then he's coming with his... Maybe his bishop here, his queen... Well, maybe not there, there. He's putting loads of pressure on this pawn. We can get the queen out. Oh, I don't know. That was a bit... He's off. It's like he's got something set. Damn, I'm scared to make a move now. Oh, I could... I could actually attack his queen, couldn't I? Just to say, well, I don't really know what you're doing, but get more pieces into there. 
I'm going to attack the queen because I thought this bishop malarkey or whatever he's trying to do. Oh, please don't let me have fallen into a trap so early on. I thought I was doing okay. Come on, it doesn't look like there is anything, but he's slowed down now as well. Whew, okay, I'm gonna take. Doesn't mean we've won the game at all, um, <laughs> but it takes a bit of pressure off. Could come back around, but then his bishop will take. So we have to move the knight anyway. Could attack his, but his bishop is there. Just bring the knight back. Now I've not getting not to get set into this mortar set type thing of just making the move and taking my hand off the mouse and just having a look. So the key thing for <laughs> straight away, um, the key thing is really to get the bishop and the knight out. He's gonna try and use the power base of the rooks on here. Um, so I need to get this out. If I attack his rook, because his rook is kind of jammed in there, so we should be able to get the rook off the board. Take my hand off the mouse. So it was a bit explosive that, but again, you still have to try and find better positions and stuff. You have to still be cagey as to what the opponent can do. Just because you're taking pieces off the board doesn't mean you've won the game because your position might be rubbish. So he's attacking our knight, but we're attacking the rook. So I think we'll take the rook off the board. Uh, we didn't need to take it so quickly, really, but I didn't really want to take any chances. He's taken our rook. He's got two bishops. People love the bishops, so they may be able to do something with them. Do we just dance up here and try and attack this? Like I say, it doesn't mean we've won the game at all these lethal bishops can be used quite nicely can't they so attacking the pawn we could still continue with our attack here if we get one of them off there oh okay so we'll take for free this pawn can take and take so it looks like they're giving up pieces now or not so I'm going to attack the pawn at the top. King's on a dart square. Knight's on a dart square. Rook's on a dart square. So that feels fairly safe. So he's still defending. Rook could come here. He's got this space to attack the knight. Don't forget. Can the knight go anywhere? Yes, he can jump back. Going to bring the rook on the file. Oh, and they've resigned. Okay, that was a <laughs> interesting game, and then definitely that bishop move did scare me. I thought, oh no, falling into some sort of trap of some sort. Quick look at the analysis. We don't really need to look at the analysis on this one. Okay, so I'll just do the movements with the pawn here. Let's have a look. Shall we get the gauge bar up? Not with the moves. Okay, so it doesn't like that bishop move there. So we're f plus 3.2 at this point and then it drops basically three points from that bishop move it's going for a pawn move here attacking the knight yeah 
I do like doing that, but at the same time, I just think, I mean, it's dropped three points, and that's kind of drastic, isn't it? It's just you, I feel like I'm losing tempo, but let's have a look. The knight does have space, he can come back here. I'm losing tempo in developing my pieces, that's what I'm meaning. So if we push there, then he goes there, or, yeah, or he goes back to where he came. It's not going to go here because it gets taken, and it gets taken there. And he can't go here because he's blocked. So he goes in. So it's only plus two. But oh, it's because he's guarding this pawn. Ah, oh, I didn't look at it like that. Oof, that's a nice touch actually, isn't it? That's a nice touch. Smallest of potatoes. Hmm. Okay, so we brought the bishop, then they brought their knight, so it's same way, plus four. Wow, we're constantly dropping three points all the time. So we decided to take the knight, and it dropped three points. And then we captured the pawn, it's not gone much better here. Mm -hmm. They grab back. So it's not looking too bad for them at all, really. Um, I felt okay-ish at this point. I'm like thinking, well, his pieces are not really working together. So there's no danger. So we could attack this unprotected knight. But then the unusual happened. I, did think, I don't know. I don't know what they saw. Maybe they did see some sort of bishop continuation with the queen sitting here at some point but then maybe they realized that the bishop was protecting this square that's the only thing i can think really okay so the rest is just plain sailing after that okay very good two minute zero game let's see what we can do quick bullet game we've been been playing some long games so we're just getting back into the groove of the long play psychology I'm just having one little bullet game before we begin our week oh, with some bullet stuff a little bit later on obviously ok, well, no time to think I miss.
Oops. Zero point nine seconds left. Okay, in for a thirty minute ten second game. Ready to rock and roll. Okay, let's go. So again, just really just genuinely focusing on position checks, captures, threats, supporting, blocking, position. So those are the key areas to focus on getting potential value. Let's see how we go. Oh, I was supposed to go for unusual again. Um, I'm just going to keep this one simple then. Let's defend the pawn here because the bishop takes. He'll get the pawn for free. So that makes sense. Could take, could leave it. Just bring the bishop here. Yeah, let's bring the bishop here, develop a beast. It's a twofold thing if the drop knight can come here. If he takes, then we just take with the pawn, but then we lose the pawn. So we may as well take with the bishop, because if he takes, then we get that pawn, but he hasn't done, so we'll go here. So the key thing is castling, so I think I need to develop my pieces out, so at least my king can breathe. It's looking to try and choke the bishop, but they do have this pawn protecting, so I still think I have time to go with the bishop here. And what I need to stop doing is going into that rhythm of speaking and making a move. So I don't need to move that fast at all. We've covered all of that with the narration side of things. It sort of blocks my um, concentration. Just getting into the rhythm of, oh, uh, they're going to do X, Y, and Z. So I'm going to do this. And then I don't actually calculate properly. So I've got to take that moment to think. So it's slowed down a bit now, so it gives us time. <clears throat> Basically, our next move obviously is going to be castling, depending on what the opponent does. Um, maybe they didn't see now the queen supporting the pawn because he wants to push down and get a, like a serious situation going in here. So I'm going to block that off and attack his pawn before we go and castle. And he's trying to do stuff to prevent, not prevent us from castling, but giving us things to think about. It's nothing major there. We can take this pawn, which I believe is what I'm actually going to do. Just going to take the pawn because we don't like the center being clogged up. We like to work around the center as best possible. We can work in the center as well. It all depends on what the player is giving to us, but the potential value for us in our game currently, <clears throat> if we've got the opportunity to actually obliterate the center, and work around the center that's our number one choice so this is how i'm trying to make my decisions based on what i know from my experience and what is key in terms of the mantra that we've worked with and trying to use it as best possible it's going to take back here so he wins the palm but does he win improved position my queen Potentially putting a check on the king here. Knight comes and defends. So we've not castled yet. Could castle on the next go. His queen's hanging there. I'm really wanting to go here, but I'd get taken, so I'd have to do that. It's a bit slow. <clears throat> and he's got this pawn to be taking this pawn. But we can take this pawn and look to but then he's got this pawn in the center so far up the board mm. it's so far up the board he can defend it bring his pieces in there and then we're having to babysit this pawn Ugh. doesn't look good but i think i will take the pawn So 
So he takes, takes, our pawn is here. Our pawn is blocking his pawn at the minute, but I really want to get this pawn off. And we've got bishops, but they're, you know, they're jammed in at the minute, really. Not really functioning. So it's going to be a bit of a long slog. This takes... Push on to the knight. Knight dances a bit. Okay, I have to play this one one step at a time. One move at a time. Well, they're taking a while actually. Okay. That's because I've just played that bullet match, so I'm expecting things to be moving fast, but realistically, it's a long play game. I'm watching that I'm not a GM or whatever it is. Yeah, I'm not a GM speed competition. It's looking quite interesting at the moment. But it's taken a week's break, I think, isn't it? Which I thought was a little bit disappointing. I think keep the flow going. But I think it's that other competition that's taking place, isn't it? With them, um, Hack and Murray or whatever. Wow, oh, they're t seriously taking a very long time on this one now. I might have to pause the video here. I don't know what's going on. Looks like they've left the game. So we'll claim victory on that. Well, that's a shame. Well, I'm so jumping for another one then because that was a little bit of a waste of time on that side. Uh, yes, we were going to be potentially taking this pawn here. I don't know if that's going to be the right thing to do or not. I'll have a quick look at the analysis. And the analysis is probably going to go, don't you dare exchange that queen. Okay, so I was probably expecting the knight to come through here. But is that even worse for them? I mean, potentially I was going to do this. Computer say rook c8 first. Yep, so then the queen... Obviously, when they take back your own in the file, I go and do this, and it's still minus two, so oh, minus 1.5. So it's gone, yeah, it's under the two mark. So it was minus three. So going for the exchange doesn't like it, but it's still, still winning for black minus 1.8. Would have had to be a bit of jostling going on. He's got time to go and castle, hasn't he? Yes, he's got time to castle. Then castle. Yeah, it would have been a lot of arty dancing around. But we were winning, so that looks okay. It's only because we're plus one, though. Doesn't really mean that our position is any good. Okay, fine. Okay, so back with the answer process that's the reason why we're here we're not here to be doing bullets bullet is a drop off of the answer process that we're trying to work with so we're not going to get sucked into just constantly playing bullet we're focusing on improving the quality of the answer process if we can having a look at how the opponents use the answer process against me as well so that I can learn from that as well. So any advantages the opponent gets, evaluate, have a look, see if we made any gross errors and make the changes appropriately and keep working with the concepts that we've got within the answer process and it should be okay. It's not 100% proof at all in any way shape, but I think the more focus we put on finding the potential viable moves and looking at the value of those moves and then it's making sure that we're selecting the best move for us not the best move for potential future evaluation from a computer the best move for us that makes us feel emotionally involved in the game how are we feeling about that move and then from there we can make 
an informed decision because we've got the process in there whereby we can historically say we're comfortable and happy with that position and we're comfortable and happy with the calculation that we've made so far and then we reevaluate that um, initial calculation how does it make us feel do we really feel comfortable with that um, move or is there something else what's stopping us from making the move if there's questions then we have to ask more questions that's why the longer player games really do help to flesh out your best chess you know and it's more enjoyable as well because if you are making a mistake and then the mistake just gets worse and worse and worse in the game it's it's quite it was well, quite funny if you then come out of that and you then gain an advantage because you're playing a human player you know and if they make mistakes just like you then taking advantage of those um, situations can be quite fun to be involved in so we're building up um, we're actually waiting for a seek here just to make sure that we're clear on that uh, it's a 30 minute 10 second game it is a casual game um, but this is a very long time must, must be something special on oh. but I must say yeah all the things that I keep rambling on about all the time um, it's to get a consistent approach if you look at well if I'm looking to develop which I am doing it's a consistent approach of trying to ram it home in the psychology of what it is that I'm here to do and like I've mentioned earlier if I just focused on doing bullet and blitz which I don't like um, I'm doing them to try and improve my likeness of them and um, it's still not working um, and I come back to the long play game to really get a good understanding and improve my knowledge of chess and be able to drive forward even further changes if I need to correct things because sometimes it might be when I make a move I've made the move without any emotion without any emotional content or I've done it without looking at the value of that move or the actual viability of that move in the first place so all of these things fall into place because move orders done wrong because I've jumbled up my process in my head so the whole answer sort of gets flipped up on its head and that happens to many chess players you know many chess players fall into that realm I don't think this player is playing either well I've waited all that time oh he's come back on so they're taking the time okay I can expect some specials then taking the time doing that so bring the knight through here and it's really trying to avoid making the biggest erroneous moves we can come here as we know we're defending the knight sometimes though as well when you do your openings you feel that you're comfortable with the opening and then suddenly the smallest of shifts in the pattern recognition that you know of occurs and then you're in a position that you're not really comfortable with I think that is um, one of those shockers as well so he's just taking pieces off the board so I, I think we kind of understand where they're coming from so he's just looking to grab pieces so that's fine for us yep he's just looking to take things off the board so maybe we can try and improve our position then while they're grabbing pieces I think if he's grabbing we could go here and just but I might save that let's just bring this here and what else do we want to do we said we're going to go here good there bam 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 but that's not a good move that's not a good move no that's not a good move that might be okay pushes his pawn bishop takes bishop takes 
Rook getting in. Opposite, opposite the Queen. Long term benefit. He's going to be moving the Knight anyway, isn't he? Let's bring the Rook across here. Long term benefit. Opposite the Queen. Nice and basic thinking. Can potentially start maybe pushing this pawn up to try and get towards the queen. So it's mid moving his king just to come here to just, I don't know. He's moved his queen off of the line. The long term benefit put the fear of God in them. So we've made them do something they didn't actually want to do. So I think that's a plus, isn't it? I'm actually going to continue with the pawn pushing here. See if we can obliterate the center, like we say, and maybe work around the center. And as usual, um, the way that I talk, I sound like really confident, like, oh yeah, I've got this nailed on and everything's going to work. And um, that isn't the case. Um, I'm just doing it, like I said, just to make, give me, myself some confidence in trying to apply the answer process as best possible. So I'm not like an IM or GM who can magically, ooh, look at that, he's taking, and he's on my knight, and he's gonna be, he's gonna be up a pot. No, I'll take here, I'll be on his rook, but then he'll be on my rook as well. Oh, I think I'm down a pawn here. No, okay, ah, oh, that's a damn shame. That's a damn shame. Take with the queen. I take with the queen if he pushes the pawn down I take the pawn but if I take with the queen I've only got one piece in front of his area I'm going to take with the queen but he's going to push this pawn down here yeah that's a bit yeah so like I was saying you know like how when you're watching grandmasters or IMs and they're just talking and they're just you know finding these fantastic positions utilizing all this knowledge about opening theory and this that and the other blah 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 um i'm not doing that what i'm doing is we're working on position play as best possible i'm gonna attack the queen because it's a smaller piece attacking the queen we're up a minor piece at the moment probably envisage him taking just so he can get a piece off the board but then his queen will get taken with a check on his king So yeah, it's not that kind of confidence. This is like we're talking each stage. It, whoa, each stage, everything's different. We can take the pawn, his rook can take it on our queen, but then he's also getting the knight. So I don't think I want to be doing anything too special, really. I don't think I want to do anything special. If we take, his rook comes down. Yeah, that don't make no well the rook is actually defending the, the knight anyway but we are giving him ownership of this file i think we can take it you know i think we can take it rather than leaving it yeah i'm gonna take it the rook's defending the knight the rook's coming down obviously so we could bring it's not doing that Okay, so we have a discovered check on his queen, and the knight can come here with a check on his king. I almost don't want to make the move. Okay, so we'll put the check on the king. Oh, you're joking me! <laughs> I was so confident about that move as well. <laughs> I didn't have to do that. Oh, did you see how quickly he snapped it up? Oh, that is so sad. I'm going to try and own the file with the rook now. <laughs> oh dear. And the advantage is gone. It's plus one now. Oh, that's sickening. I feel sick. <laughs> How fast he snapped that up. <laughs> oh, give it. I'm going to double up. Wow, shame. I should have talked it through first, shouldn't I? I was just so happy that I was getting a check on the king. That was so cheap. His rook's coming to defend now. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
uh, and it's looking for a back ranker. I'm gonna have to give my spit give my king some space. He's still going for it. Let's move up. But I'm hoping he's gonna be really urgent now. Then he's moving like he's got purpose. Oh no! <laughs> We're both as bad as each other. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, it's bro. <laughs> we are as bad as each other. <laughs> oh, that is fun. And that's what I was kind of saying right at the very beginning of the video one time where you, know, you can make mistakes but it's always it's funny if you can actually come back from it especially if you're playing a human and they make human mistakes <laughs> that's so funny oh dear <laughs> I feel sorry for them now <laughs> But that's exactly what I was saying though. Oh my days. Oh, it does make me laugh. <laughs> Alright, okay, then let's just fire this up and <laughs> Oh it's still going. Let's go here. Oh my days and a half. Gotta chalk this one up. But at least it's the stuff that I'm talking about. You know, the human chest, this sort of stuff happens and... <laughs> and it's the ability to be able to see it and take advantage of it. You know, I mean, him putting his queen there, maybe I could have been in a flap and I might have missed it. But, um, yeah bit of an error with the knight move there got carried away thinking I was getting a free queen well more or less just getting his queen off the board these things do happen okay right that was a nice little practice one 